China claims that coronavirus came from a stupid bat. But crazy Cindy Ardern has actually denied having been involved. If our current power grid can't handle cold days of 10 degree temperatures without increased use of coal, oil or anything else, that is reliable to keep our power supply without blackouts, how in the name of goodness are we going to plug one million electric cars in at night? Are we the only country that is administered by a bunch of questionable prats with a finance minister who never seems to have a grasp of the actual mess we are in? Imagine Andrew Little's world where every bit of fun has been cancelled. Imagine his world that every statement would be checked and every tweet and email would be fact-checked. Ardern and the Commissioner of Police speaking from their box of wokeness, they wonder how to stop drunk drivers from killing sober drivers. Well, ban sober drivers from driving, of course. Mind you, that is exactly how gun control with an amnesty and cash refunds actually work. Can we still order a long black coffee? Are brownies being disbanded from the guides? Is white sugar changing its name? I'm sure Maori All Blacks are okay, but the All Whites are screwed. Can we still play Chinese checkers? Is that season still called Indian Summer? No more Italian, no more German sausages. Must change the name of Browns Island or even change the name of our nation without even the decency of a binding referendum. How far do you want to go with this foolishness? History in schools being rewritten to make everything look as though all conflict related to justice was that of the non maori a Prime Minister, along with Maori caucus, is to use the next few months to appease Willie Jackson, the Maori caucus and Mahuta before this Labour Party is finally thrown under the bus by all decent thinking New Zealand citizens. The irrational mandates and the unbelievable nonsense being promoted and enforced by a government supported by a doctor who has not practised for more than 25 years, who seems to know less about the Omicron than the average better-read citizen. Forcing our children and grandchildren to wear masks, this exercise has been disbanded by most countries and states. It is now considered by any decent adult as a child abuse and cruelty. The medical profession, forced to toe the Arden Bloomfield line of misinformation and fear. We have our family general practitioners encouraging fear of their patients over a virus that performs exactly as a common cold. Our doctors are in fact encouraging their patients into a state of fear and anxiety, pushing many of those who trust them into a state of the Stockholm Syndrome. A nation has been created of scared, anxious individuals that believe narking, yes, narking on fellow Kiwis, is the correct thing to do. That is a sign we're living in very sick times of misinformation and dumbed-down citizens. Heck of a job, Labour. A heck of a job. You've managed to bring back the 1918 pandemic, the 1929 depression, the 1970s, the beginning of the Waitangi twisting and grab, the 1973 gas prices, and the 1990 record inflation rates. Yes, Labour, that's you, Labour, You have managed all that, yes, all that, at the same time. 